last and final college series. So in this video, I'm gonna be rating all of the college living dorms, apartments, other dorms. Let's get started. Four is gonna be the worst and one is gonna be the best. Number four is the regular dorm. I feel like everybody should live in a regular dorm, at least one semester or one year, just so they can have the roommate experience, going to the bathroom, down the hall experience, the nasty bathroom experience. That's just part of the college experience right there. Compared to all my other college living situations, it's not good. It's F tier, it is not good. It was so old. So I do appreciate the safety though, but you have to have a key to get in the building you had to unlock the floor and then you had to unlock your room so i did not have any safety concerns when it came to living in a regular dorm if you're a freshman i strongly suggest that you live on campus at least one time i know some people that were freshmen they felt like they were too cool for school and they live in the off-campus apartments but i had a good time number three is the off-campus apartments i did not have a car i could not get anywhere i was able to get my groceries delivered i was getting kind of stir crazy because I technically could not go anywhere. I did enjoy having my laundry on the inside of the unit versus outside. All the other times before I lived in the off-campus apartments, I have done my laundry outside of my room. It's like a glorified dorm room. Only get your own room and your laundry is in unit. There's really nothing different. Number two on my list is the quad. I lived in the quad for two years in a row. I lived there in my sophomore and my junior year. I would say that the quad is meh. So the rooms at MTSU for the quad, there are are small I have no idea how they expect two people to live in that room because that room is really meant for one person it's better than sharing a bathroom with the whole floor since everybody has a different schedule we're gonna be like one or two people in the bathroom at one time on my junior year that was when I was trying to lose weight and then I started cooking I would cook for the whole week so I would be down there for at least an hour an hour and a half people would be giving me the side eye it's not my fault that you cannot cook if I had to go back and do college all over again I would not have a problem staying in the quad no Number one is the on-campus apartments. I enjoyed it because for one, I got the apartment experience just like the other one, but I was on campus. I had my own room, but I only shared a bathroom with one other person and my roommate he was gone most of the time. So it was basically my bathroom anyway. So the only thing that I didn't like the laundry was outside the apartment. Living at MTSU is subpar. All of them are subpar. If you consider going to MTSU, only consider going there because of of the good education. Your living situation is gonna be mid-tier for a while. That's the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. All my social media will be down in the description box as well as videos that I have uploaded in the past. So with that being said, I'll see y'all in my next video.